Peace, everybody. This is Questing is Life Show, and I am your host. Today's topic is going to be interesting, but before we can get to it, please, for those of you who are watching me on YouTube, please like, share, subscribe, and make sure you share this uh, stream to others. I am sure you know somebody within your family or your uh, friend's circle who will need this amazing topic we are about to talk about. And for those of you out there who are going to be listening to me to the podcast, I'll do my best to give you some of the description of the pictures that I'll be showing to the viewers watching on YouTube. And uh, if you want to watch the uh, uh, the whole show, uh, see the images that I'll be showing in a few moments, please check your check the uh, the fasting is life uh, was on anchor check the description you you'll have to link to the uh, to the YouTube page so you can come uh, you know come here uh, on YouTube and check it out check the video all right let's get into it uh, this topic I'm making it because one of my viewers uh, suggested it and the title of my show is, wait for it, How to Cure Diabetes in 2020. <laughs> that is the title I chose for this topic. And it's interesting, when I chose this topic, I chose, I chose it like three weeks ago. And what a coincidence, before I started the stream, I was looking at some images, like the one you see right before you. The image has like a little ribbon that looks like, you know, the, like the cancer ribbon. And it says November is Diabetes Awareness Month. What a coincidence. <laughs> I was born in November and uh, today is October, uh, September 18, 2020. And I'm making a show almost two months in advance about diabetes because November is going to be Di Diabetes Awareness Month. Now, on my video today, what I'll do is I want, I want to make it short and straight to the point. Uh, first, I'll give you uh, the medical uh, definition of diabetes and the different types and their tips and then i'll give you my tips on how so what steps you can take to cure it all like before i can continue further don't let anyone lie to you all sicknesses and all disease on this earth are curable <laughs> nothing is impossible remember that nothing is impossible the only thing we can cure so far is death <laughs> you can cure death but you can cure everything else all right now some people may throw a joke guess what if you lose a limb you can't regrow it you can try but it will take you a long time for your cells to regenerate try to regrow itself so far they haven't discovered that so we can't cure death we can regenerate your missing limbs, but any diseases you could think of is curable. The question is, do you have the patience and the willingness to actually take the steps to cure certain diseases that you may have? That is the question. Because a lot of people, they lose faith whenever things are taking too long. And we live in a instant gratification era. So some of the steps that I'll give you regarding uh, curing diabetes in 2020, some of you may think it's a lot of work, but go with me. All right, let's get back into the topic. How to cure diabetes in 2020. I'm gonna go uh, on this website.
the website is called Med Medline Plus U.S. National Library of Medicine. And you can go to medlineplus.gov slash diabetes dot html. So this is the website I'm here, and it's giving you a summary of diabetes, the types, and so forth. So first, I'll give you their definition of diabetes and the types, and I'll look at some of, you know, I guess, uh, it doesn't really give you certain solutions. I know some website it will give you the solution, but what I'll do is I'll just give gonna give you a summary about diabetes, you know, the simplest way you can understand, and then I will introduce you step steps you can take to cure diabetes. And on my description, once the, I post this video because I'm doing a pre-recording, I will add in uh, on my playlist. There was a fellow truck driver. He was on a uh, blood pressure pill and high sugar pills for 15 years. And he was training me once I got higher. And while we were on training, I was telling him about fasting and all that stuff. And I was able to convince him to basically try fasting, intermittent fasting. I told him he didn't have to go uh, you know, hardcore like me, like go two days without eating or something. But basically, he shrank his eating window, and within two days, I could see a change. His face was melting, and he was able to drop his sugar level from 200 to 119 within two days. And at the next time, he forgot he took the pills, and he dropped his level even lower. So. From my experience, I told him, I oh, see, intermittent fasting work for you. You, don't, you won't need those pills. And the good news is, as of 2020, he no longer needs pills anymore. He can enjoy life now. He found out the routine. And for his age, he looks way younger than before. His skin is smooth, everything. So, so far, I was like, man, I have one proof that I was able to help a brother. He, he he didn't have a, what you call diabetes, but it seems like it was like a pre-diabetes because he was taking high sh uh, sugar level pills and blood pressure pills. He was taking a bunch of pills. When he went back to the doctor and they took him off the pills, they asked him, they say, what led you to, you know, they say, everything is perfect. They said, what did you do? Were you taking the pills? He said, oh, no, no. I stopped taking the pills for like the last six months. I was just doing some fasting. And they gave him the eye, like, oh, it's not safe and all that. But anywho, let's get back. <laughs> I was getting too excited. So let's look at the definition. Um, <laughs> I know, I know it's, we get interested with these topics. So diabetes, let me show you an image. I'm showing an image of somebody holding the finger. And it looks like his finger got a little... Uh, dot of blood, so he probably used the needle to poke it. So I have I have it on the screen for those of you who are listening on the podcast. Summary: Diabetes says diabetes is a disease in which your blood glucose or blood sugar levels are too high. Glucose comes from the foods you eat. Insulin is a hormone that helps the glucose get into your cells to give them energy. With type one diabetes, your body does not make insulin. With type two diabetes, the more common type, your body does not make or use insulin well. Without insulin, without enough insulin, the glucose stays in your blood. You can also have prediabetes. And uh, let me see. 
on pre-diabetes let me look at the description it says what is pre-diabetes pre-diabetes means that your blood glucose or blood sugar levels are higher than normal but not high enough to be called diabetes so that's probably what my my co-worker had the one that i helps it says glucose yeah so basically it's talking the same thing so pre-diabetic it's saying that your sugars are not high enough to be called diabetes that's the only difference continue it says this means that your blood sugar is higher than normal but not high enough to be called diabetes having pre-diabetes puts you at a higher risk of getting type 2 diabetes and it says over time having too much glucose in your blood can cause serious problems it can damage your eyes kidneys and nerves diabetes can also cause heart uh, heart disease stroke and even the need to remove a limb wow that's not I can imagine me losing any of my limbs. I need all of them. <laughs> and it says, pregnant women can also get diabetes called gestational diabetes. Blood tests can show if you have diabetes. One type of test, the A1C, can also check on how you are managing your diabetes. So uh, I'm assuming this A1, I uh, went to the website showing like, uh, they got the little microscope where they can look at different stuff. So yeah, that's a lot of, ew, that's a lot of, man, I can't imagine. I've met people who had diabetes. Some of them, once they grew up, they, they no longer needed it and some people stay on it. And this is what it says. It says, exercise, weight control, and sticking to your meal plan can help control your diabetes. You should also monitor your blood glucose level and take medicine if prescribed. That's their point of view. This is coming from them. And let me show you some pictures uh, when it comes to diabetes. Okay, I showed you. It showed a picture of somebody with the little uh, poking thing for the diabetic. It says, mark your calendar. November is National Diabetes Awareness Month. And then I'll show you another picture showing you somebody poking another person and checking the sugar level. And here's another image showing you pills, <laughs> needle. And here's another picture of a lady now we're talking about the cure right so let me show you this picture you like this picture huh you like that belly <laughs> chubby chubby so the main one great way where you could begin your journey to cure diabetes is weight loss if you are fat obese overweight you need to start losing weight we're in september right now so since november is diabetes awareness month if you're listening to me out there and you have diabetes guess what you need to do the best awareness is you starting your change now so that when it comes november you want to be able to say hey on this awareness month i'm i'm i have a great news to tell you i'm diabetic free i'm free from diabetes I've lost weight, I've regained my health, I'm good. I don't need to shoot no needles, I don't need to do no tests. I've got my life in control. I have the power in my hands. That should be a goal for Diabetes Awareness Month. So again, if you have diabetes out here and you listen to me and you're obese, weight loss. Now, I've met some diabetic who are very skinny, you know, Yes, they could lose weight, but they can't because they're really skinny. What they need to do is, for those people out there, and that's that's even if you're obese, weight loss is one way. And then another thing you're going to add, you already know, my, the name of my channel, fasting. 
And what fasting will do is it will give you time for your body to regenerate, to self heal, and to find the right balance. Your body knows what, need, what needs to be done. You gotta give it time. So in, uh, adding intermittent fasting and some fasting day here and there, like let's say you go one day uh, without eating any meal, or you can do uh, the 16, eight, which is 16 hours of fasting and then eight hours of eating. And by eight hours of eating, you know, I'm, I'm not saying you're gonna eat for eight hours, no. You have an eating window within eight hours to eat. And then after that eight hours, you don't eat anything else. You can drink water, you know, that's it. No calories going in. So that could be one. You could do where you only eat one meal a day, or mad. And uh, you do it for like a week to see how your body reacts. Exercise, because exercise will lead you to lose weight. Uh, changing your diet and your lifestyle. Bye bye pork, it's not good for you. Bye bye shrimp, it's not good for you. Uh, vegetable oil, all this stuff, stay away from it. Start eating healthy fats, such as uh, ghee, butter. Uh, omega-3 oil, uh, meat, fat, animal fat, basically, um, lots of fruits, vegetables, and like I'm everything I'm telling you, it will take time. It's not something overnight. But think, think about this, my fellow listeners and viewers. You've been, let's say, on pills and shots and poking and all that stuff for 10, 15, 20 years. Why not take one year out of your life so you won't have to do none of that anymore? Isn't that better to take one year off where you change your whole lifestyle so you won't have to do none of that stuff? That routine is going to be a thing of the past. You no longer need to swallow a bunch of pills, have it remembering your schedule, poking, taking a needle. Like, do you, what do you want? Do you want to continue in that way of life or do you want to change it? That is one thing you should ask yourself. Like, I love peace. I don't like, I don't like things to be complicated. To me, being diabetic, when you have the power, to change your life and be free, I will do my best to transform myself. Even if it takes me a whole year, two years, I'll do that. Then being in a life where I have no control of my life and I depend on the hospitals to give me the pills and all that stuff, that's more anxiety. I just can't imagine me being 20 years being obese and fat when I have the power to change it. But what I'm telling you, I cannot make you change your life. You have to decide. I've given some people advice. Some people listen, some people didn't. I'm proof, even on my channel, Fasting is Life, you can watch my old videos where I was obese, I was heavy, and I went to the fasting and I lost weight and I, was, I went back and I started building weight, lifting weights, you could see how my face, my, my transformation happened. And I went through it. So I'm not telling you something I didn't do. I was that guy who was looking in the mirror, looking at my stomach. I'm like, man, how can I bring this down? And I did it. It took me uh, almost three months to fully get to the point where I was like, well, I can look in the mirror and my stomach is not sticking out anymore. If I was able to do, I want the radical route. I want radical where I was going 14 days at a time without eating anything. A lot of people out there, they cannot do it. You don't, And at that time, I quit my job to basically do that. So I wasn't working. So some of you out there, you could be, you know, under this pandemic, a lot of you are staying home. Some people, they lost jobs or they're working from home. So you have a lot of time. You, and some of you thinking, spending that time thinking like, oh, woe is me. I don't know if I, I can get another job. I, you know, as some being depressed, why not use this time 
to transform yourself. That could be a testimony. You could be inspired to start a YouTube channel to show how you're able to cure your diabetes. We need more testimonies. I mean, I tapped in diabetes cure on YouTube. I, I could barely find anything. And I'm like, but a lot of those people, if you see them, a lot of people have diabetes, they are, are, are overweight. So all they have to do is they just need to lose the extra weight, the extra uh, weight on their body, and they will be halfway there. You have the power. Don't let anyone tell you all diseases is curable. Some may take time. Some may happen immediate. But you have to start somewhere. Like I'll use an example. The last two days I was doing dry fasting. Dry fasting is basically no food, no water. So basically nothing was going inside my mouth. I was still brushing or still taking showers, but nothing was going into my stomach. And then this evening I broke my fast to eat some food. And I noticed also that the fasting was uh, working because when I when I was looking at myself, you know when you start to lose weight and your skin is leaving that little markings, right? I saw it. And you know what? It wasn't something new to me. I'm like, oh, okay. I see that two-day fast that I did, you know, my skin started to shrink. I started to change in a way, like my face has started to melt. I was like, okay. But I'm radical. That's why I'm telling you this. The reason why I love dry fasting because it's very hardcore. One day of dry fasting equals a three day of water fasting. So it's like your your body becomes like a furnace, hardcore, three times the regular. Where if you have any disease in your body, it's gonna get burned up. Your uh, T cells are gonna go there and destroy all infirmities. And the longer you fast, the better. It's going to be detoxing all your organs. If you have fatty organs, it's going to be melting, melting just like that. Bam, 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 bam. So, like I said, guys, I've just given you the cure of diabetes in less than 25 minutes. It's that simple. You have the power. You can change your life. You can cure diabetes and be free from all that mad madness. You can do it. It will take time, but be patient. Be patient and you'll see the result. I'll say, if, you, if you're starting today after listening to this video, give yourself till January 20, uh, 2021. That's your goal. Be like, you know what? For the next three months and a half, I'm going to change my way of life. I'm going to move towards weight loss and give fasting a chance to basically heal my body where you know let's say if you eat eat all the time during the day start exercising and shrink your eating window from two hours to eight hours in, be in between that and then fast the rest of the day get enough sleep sleep is very necessary you should add that into it too. So please let me know in the comments once I post this video, what you think of it. If this message resonate with you, if you heard this advice before, you can mention it. If you've tried it, please let us know. And for those of you who wanna try it, keep us posted so we can motivate each other. But I know there's millions of Americans who are very diabetic and some of them, they see it, they be like, what can I do? Like they, they, I know a lot of you out there are tired of doing that stupid routine. I call it stupid because it's, it's nonsense. I'm like, you guys can cure this. It's like anything is possible. Why are they making it seem like, you know, because when they give you all that pill, they're just giving you a, a bandaid. You want the scar to heal. You want... You want that scar to be gone. You know, you, you want that cut to be healed. Like you don't want to do all that extra stuff. You put the alcohol and it's over, you know, let it heal. So you guys have the power and that's how you'll be able to cure diabetes in 2020. Guys, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate everybody. Please like, share, subscribe. 
and stay tuned for more videos. And remember, all diseases are curable.